We are at Lake Oroville where water levels are significantly higher right now. I am with Jana Frazier. She is with the Department of Water Resources. And Jana, explain what we are seeing behind us in terms of numbers. Right now we're at 850 feet in elevation. 900 feet we'd be full. If we're full, we're touching that tree line. Right now, historically, we should be a little bit less than where we are. So we're actually ahead of the game. Typically, we're about 110% of historical average, which means we're a little higher than we would normally be this time of year. So actually, it's really good, looking great. And this is a huge change from a year ago and a huge change because we have been in a historical drought. Talk about the, the difference in numbers this time this year compared to last year? This time last year, we weren't doing so good. We were down in the 700s of feet of elevation and we were looking at a considerable impact on the water because of the drought, no snow. I haven't seen snow in probably a little over three years. We're looking at moving into the fifth year of drought. We're still considering this to be drought, but the water level this year as opposed to last year is much, much better. And I think the average person has a hard time maybe wrapping their, their mind around the fact that you hear drought, but you also hear flood control in the same sentence. Can you take walk us through what that means? The, the flood control, what that means is, is you can see the tree line where the water is to the tree line. That's about roughly 45 feet. So we store the last 50 feet of storage. We leave empty so that it catches heavy rainflow and snow melting. So that prevents any massive flooding downstream. If we get a large influx of water, a large inflow, we can capture that we don't have to let it out. But at the same time, we've been running on a deficit for such a long time with no rain and not much snow, if any, in the Sierra Nevadas, that we're still in drought. So we still, even though we're looking at fuller reservoirs this time now than last year, and in the last two, three years past, we're still pushing conserve, conserve, conserve. Technically, we're still in drought. We have not broken the drought, although the water levels look much better. The image behind us underscores the need for adequate storage. I know it's, it's a complicated issue with water management, but um, with, with sites out there, what are your thoughts on having enough infrastructure for water storage? What as an agency, we, we really push sustainability and conservation on the water, even if we have full reservoirs all up and down the state. But this drought, this last four years, we're, we're going to be kind of this fall, you know, the lake level is going to drop. It's a working reservoir. It goes up and down. When it's fuller, recreation is all over the place. As it starts to drop, recreation kind of slows down a little bit. But we are looking at sites reservoirs as another storage area. It's not going to dam anything up. We'd move the water into sites, about a million, million and a half acre feet. Acre foot of water is an acre of land under 12 inches of water. And it's kind of what this drought showed us is we don't quite have enough storage because the population in the state is continuing to increase. The food that we grow, the, the population throughout the United States is continuing to increase. So we need to constantly be very diligent on our water storage, our water conservation, but we also need to kind of look at the fact that the state's population is going to continue to grow. We're going to need a little storage, a little extra storage, a little buffer to get us through those drought times. That's where Sites Reservoir would come in.